Yo, what up, ladies and gentlemen? Mr. Grusty here from MBR Starcast with some live League of Legends gameplay for you guys today. Playing as my buddy Nasus in the top lane. Gonna be wrecking some hoes with my siphoning strike. So, we're playing Feral Nasus today. I know, I know, I know. It's not as epic as Infernal Nasus. I'm sorry about that, but I thought I'd mix it up. You know, there's so many videos off my channel of Infernal Nasus, and it is so much more epic, you know. Um, it's certainly worth the money. It's probably my favorite skin in game. But. Uh, that and Nocturne, I don't know, probably probably the Nasus one. The Nocturne one's cool because he's like a Transformer when he's coming through the, through the air and just looks bad, man. But, you know, Nasus is my favourite champion and uh, it's a cool skin. You get your little boombox, you turn into a free headed, like, Satan devil monster when you ultimate and, you know, and you get a bone. You even get, like, this visual, the visual effects on it are OP. Whilst on this skin, I think it's a very basic skin, I think it's about 520 RP. Um, it's very basic, but you know, it's still pretty cool, it gives us some little effects, and it mixes things up. I certainly probably won't feel as epic as I normally do when I'm Infernal Nasus. When you're fed on Infernal Nasus, you just feel so godlike, but with this I'll probably just feel like a little puppy dog, instead of a pit bull. But we'll see, it, it should be cool. We're facing off against a Garen today, it's been a long, long, long time, I don't think I've seen like, any Garens actually this season. Well, actually I saw a Garen jungle not too long ago, that didn't go too well. Um, but I haven't seen a Garen top lane season 4, I don't think. Well, it's certainly not gone against one anyway. So we'll see how that actually goes. I think Garen's a pretty strong champion. The only issue really has, he has no CC. That's his, like, main problem. But, you know, he can get really tanky and just kind of goes in there and spins to win. I know there's a video up on my channel. I used to play a bit of Garen back in season 2, season 3, I guess. Uh, I know there's a video up on my channel where I built five black cleavers. Even though I don't think the passages stack on them, but... It was pretty OP. Something did stack because it used to do a shitload of damage. Um, yeah, so the passive, the, the, the unique passive didn't stack, but obviously that passive did. I'm not sure it's been changed since, but it did a, did do a lot of damage. It was pretty crazy. It was good fun. Um, so anyway, let's see what we can do. Garen is alright against Nasus because the fact he doesn't use mana is always a good thing. He can silence me, which stops me from doing my Q. Um, and also, what can he do? Well, he just spins around and wins, pretty much. Spin to win, I used to call him. And that's what he kind of does. But if he does use his E to spin, it basically will push the lane. And if it pushes the lane, then GG, because it allows me to sit back and just farm up easily. And that's what we want as an Asus. Until the sort of 20 minute mark where we're really fed. They have a Z jungle. We'll see how that goes. Um, it's, it's strong. It is strong, don't get me wrong. It certainly could be quite effective. Um, but really needs that level 6 to kind of make him really, really strong. Whilst Aatrox, you know, his his ganks are going to be effective from the get-go. Don't really see many Aatroxes really these days either. I think he's a cool champion. I, I've never really understood too much how to play him to get the best out of his blood while. I haven't really read it properly, but he is cool. I, I like the idea of Aatrox. Like, they can nod his head and even his swords bounce up and down. Like, how cool is that? So yeah, we certainly don't look as epic as normal, but you know, it's still pretty cool. We like this Egyptian god, Pharaoh, or whatever you want to call him. I guess we're a god, we are Nasus, so we'll be godlike. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we can get up to. Ezreal mid, how about that? Who's there already carry them? Graves and Nami. Alrighty then. Here he is, the man of the moment, gone for a Doran's Blade as his first item. It was smart, really. It would be pointless going for a Doran's Shield because I'm not going to be doing any auto attacks really to him, so. There's that silence. But, it's all good. It's just when he gets his E, that's when he's going to be a bit stronger, when he can like start spinning and round and winning. But the silence is certainly annoying. We haven't missed any Qs yet because of it, but it certainly will start to make that happen. And it's not what we want. Poking me down every time he does it. That's just a bit annoying. Should be careful that he's going to get level 2 way before me because I haven't been attacking minions. I don't really want to push the lane. Can we sneak in? We did. So there's the spin to win. That's the damage there, but it has pushed the lane against me, which is good. Oh, that's not too good. At least I guess Twitch got the first blood, but there's not too much difference through getting the first blood these days anyway. It's not a massive gold increase. Oh, what's he, what's he doing? <laughs> I guess he uh, watered it. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Um, so yeah, it's cool. What's Aatrox doing? He just seems to be standing there for so long. Is it taking him that long to kill the golems or something? Ah, good job to Twitch. Really good job. 
We're not going to make anything happen here. I don't want to. I really don't want the gank. <sighs> That's so annoying. Um, I really don't want the gank anyway. I can't believe I just didn't get that big minion. That really, uh. That really does suck. I thought it has certainly had enough Q damage to done that, but. What's he not? Oh well. There you go. What can you do? We're level 1 CS, which is good. Um, which is cool. Just a bit annoyed that we missed the uh, big one. Nothing worse than missing the big one. So you see, every time he does that, you know, it's doing damage to my minions, which is what we want. And it's certainly what we want. So it's cool. We're looking all right. He does have an ignite, so we just got to keep that in mind, you know. Because uh, um, he can do a shitload of damage with that. It's sort of, you know, you don't really expect it to happen when he chucks the ignite down. And the main reason that what I completely forgot to mention why Garen can be good against Nasa is because of his ultimate. Obviously, he does like a percentage to do with how much health's missing, and obviously, the more HP you have, the more damage that ultimate's actually going to do to you. So, um, we'll see. how did I not get that minion? Oh, uh, fuck. We'll see. It's cool, so good so far, you know, he's poking me down a little bit, and obviously, because of his passive, he regens HP, and because I'm not attacking him, you know, he's going to be able to regen HP, as minions don't actually set it off, you have to personally attack him, so, but it's cool, I'm not really fussed about him, you know, he can regen HP up, at the end of the day, I've not got any kill potential over him, so, just happy to farm, and we finally got the big one, yeah, you get me, He's doing some damage, not too bad. I don't know what he's maxed now. I always used to max my E to do the most damage out of my spin. Oh, we're looking cool. Like the lane's really well frozen here, and this is perfect. You know, it's not under the turret, so I can happily farm the minions, and it's in a position where I'm close enough to the turret so that if the jungler comes, you know, I can get away. But the wave has gone under the turret now, which is a shame. Anyway, so CS will host with dead even, so yeah, as far as that goes as Nasus, we'd be happy with that result. Um, so it's cool. It's all good. 66 Q stacks, moving up in the world slowly but surely. Obviously the reason why it takes so long at the start is because of just the high cooldown of the Q. At the moment, what's it? 5.4? We've still got another 2 points to put in there, and then once we get the Glacial Shroud, I think that gives us 10% cooldown reduction, I believe. So yeah, all starts mounting up. But we'll keep letting them spin like this. This is just happy for me because, you know, if I go to get those minions what I want, I'm going to have to overextend to get them, and there's good kill potential that he he could mess me up. So if he keeps spinning around like that, then it's GG. It's just going to push the lane. It pushes into the turret, but at the end of the day, I'm happy to be in the turret because he can't do any damage to me when I'm under the turret. And, um, we get the big one. Ah, uh, yes. And also, I say, Zed can't gank me then. Well, I guess they could if they wanted to dive me, but. It probably would go horribly wrong, especially now I have my ultimate. But we have to be really careful that he has his ultimate now, because he could just, like, say, spin to win, chuck the ignite down and ultimate, and I could well be dead. Um, so, just gotta keep. Oh, that was annoying. That was the silence there. That was the first key we missed because of his silence. That was a bit annoying. That's cool. I think we're not gonna get that minion, are we? Motherfucker. I should have water attacked it one more time. It's all good. It's all good. We're pretty much. Uh, he has two CS lead, but you know that's what NASA shouldn't be out farming anyone, especially when it's going under my turret like it is at the moment. And he's zoning me out away from getting a couple of minions because I'm just kind of scared of him doing what he's doing there. Like he spins around. I'm gonna have to pop my pot just to keep me up in some HP. Um, I'm scared to go near him because all he has to do is spin to win with a Q plus his ignite and ultimate, and I would actually. Uh, I think I'd be dead. So don't really want to just. I don't want to die to him. What the hell? I don't want to die to him for no reason. There's no need for me to die to him at the moment, so we're just best keeping it cool and trying to avoid as much damage as possible. And you know, eventually back. And as long as this this kind of gameplay is suiting me completely, because I'm just able to stand here and farm and farm and farm. But the worry I have is you need your team to be playing safe over the board and you know not giving away kills or to be winning their lanes is even better. But Zed's getting a bit fed, which could be a bit of a Worry. We'll see. Is he going to be in this bush? Oh, he might have actually recalled. Which is even better for me, you know. Happy days. Happy days. We're just, you know, happily farm along. I have my TP, obviously, why he's taken, uh, take a night. Yeah, it's cool. Good job. Good job. That's what we need. Ziggs getting some kills is going to be important. I do love Ziggs. 
So yeah, everything's looking pretty cool at the moment. The lane's going to start going against me a little bit now, but once Garen decides to come back, he'll be able to push it back into me as he doesn't really seem content in trying to freeze it against me. What has he gone for? I think he might have. Before we click on him, I'm going to go... I'm going to say the Brutalizer. I could be wrong, but... There we go. How about that? Am I psychic or what? That's what you know. See, there's the damage. I haven't built any armor yet, obviously. So, you know, that obviously goes into his favor, but... Um, that's what he kind of has to do. Let's go for the Brutalizer. Just so he can do a load more damage to me. Which is going to be a bit scary when he does the spin to win on me now. Um... But also because he's gone for the Brutalizer, it means he kills minions quicker, so when he does use his E, it means the minions are going to die quicker, which, you know, goes to my favor even more, so that's cool. And I'm just happy doing this. I don't need a gank from Aatrox. Um, we just be happy with what we got. It's looking good. He has got a couple of CS lead over me, but we're cool about that. And over the board, Ziggs is looking alright. Uh, Ezreal's actually going AD Ezra. It's interesting. I wonder why he decided to go AD. Anyway, the amount of gold I'm picking up now is just crazy. You know, we haven't even backed yet. Um, I'm just looking so strong. Looking very, very strong. Very happy. Can we freeze the lane here? Perfect. Perfect. Take the damage route, I don't really care. But, so we have to be very careful. There's no war. As you say, you don't want to be fighting the other top laner anyway, but we certainly have to be very careful about fighting him because he has a Brutalizer and we haven't even I don't know, I'm just on my the first shop, so we've got to be careful about that. But that's not what we want. We don't want Graves getting fed. We certainly don't want that. I didn't mean to attack here, and I was a bit annoyed. Nothing worse. Oh, here comes the die. Oh my god. Couldn't even ult me. That, that's the power of Garen right there. Was this, oh no, I did ult me. Literally the last second. It took me so long to ult me because of the silence on me. And because I hadn't bat, I just got instantly shredded up. But to be honest, I, even if I had back, I just shouldn't get shredded up. Zed and Garen coming on to me like that, there was not really much I could have done in that situation, really. Um, I just couldn't get my ultimate off soon enough because of the fact of the silence. That's why Garen is really good against Nasus. He just silences me like that. And, you know, I, I was... I was like, had I been able to ultimate, maybe I'd been able to do something, but I couldn't do anything. I couldn't wither, I can only auto attack when he silences me. And as a Nasus, you know, that's the worst thing possible. Um, I couldn't wither Zed, I couldn't do anything, and Zed just used his shadow to go back on himself anyway. So, um, really well played by them. Garen didn't get the kill, Zed did. It's probably been better for Garen to get it, really. Zed getting fed's not going to be good. But, you know, there was not really much I could do about that. You know, I was next to my turret playing safe. I wasn't expecting an in lane gank, but. There wasn't really much I could do about that. It was uh, just a good gank by them. Yeah, I'm not going to buy my machine just yet. There's no point as I don't want to fight Garen at the moment. I'm just happy farming and, and picking up an early frozen heart. It's going to keep me nice and tanky in case they decide to dive me again or whatever. So it's cool. And yeah, it's going alright, you know. Obviously it'd be nice not to have died, but at the same time we couldn't really do too much about that. That silence just lasted forever. I don't know how long the silence actually lasted, but... Uh, certainly screwed me over a bit. Keep my eye on bottom, maybe there's some action potentially with Aatrox coming in. Ah, oh, I can't. Where's my T? Ah, oh, I TP'd up top. Oh, I was wondering, I was like, why can't I TP down there? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? And then I realised I didn't even have TP. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh wow, well, that's a bit of a shame. I think Aatrox is actually going to die as well. Not good. Graze is getting fed, which any sense is not good. We should be able to get away here with actually, yeah, GG. A triple kill, wow. That is not what you want when you're playing Nasus is for the AD carry to get a triple kill. But be very careful because his ultimate's probably going to be back up soon. And, you know, that potentially means that he can just like one shot me. Not this HP, but you know, you've always got to be wary of what he could do with, the, with a good combo with the ignite and shit. Oh, that went down quick. <laughs> went down really quick. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that, he just queued it and I was like, alright. Oh, a shame. Oh well, not really much you could do about that. Um, but yeah, it's cool, you know, we, the damage we did to Zed was really high, and that was without a Sheen as well, so... It was cool, but what I'm really worried about is how fair Graves is at the moment, you know, 7 to 1. You know, that makes my life so much harder, because he's just going to be fed and... Uh, He's just going to get more and more fed, I think. I can see it happening. And that means that I have to 
Oh, it just makes my life so hard because when we come, it's going to mean everything's going to happen so much faster now. The team fights and everything, and I'm just not going to be at that level ready for that because I won't have the items. Now I want to go for my Triforce, but if I go for my Triforce now, then it just slows me down getting more armor, which I'm going to need to deal with um, the team. You know, and if I, I mean, without the Triforce, and I don't have the damage, and blah blah blah. Um, I could go for the Ice Horn, I guess, maybe. I haven't gone for that for a while. I've been really enjoying the Triforce. It's a really nice item, but maybe against their comp, actually, a um, Ice Horn might be better because they're all AD. Thinking about it, I might actually go for that. I've been really enjoying the Triforce just because of the damage it gives me and how fast I feel with it. The speed is... Ah, oh, that was nice. The speed is so nice, but... I think the Iceborne could be really good because I need as much armor as possible on, uh, possible on me and go for the Frozen Heart as well. Because um, the way their team's looking, Ezreal's going AD, so I think probably the Iceborne actually going to be better for uh, for this game. But I guess switch things up and yeah, Iceborne certainly probably will be better. So it's cool. We're looking alright. Um, we've got a reasonably good farm. We're level with Garen and CS, which is good. It's just Graves, which is going to be an issue. You know, he's flipping legendary. <laughs> With 9 to 1, it's not good. It's not good by any means. And because of that, you know, they can control the dragons, and there's nothing really we can do about it, unfortunately. It's just one of those horrible positions to be in when the AD carry gets fed, or when anyone really gets fed on their team. And as a NAS like I say, as NASA, you know, I'm such a late game champion. This really, I'm not going to be strong enough to deal do what the team needs because I've not won my. Well, I've I've not I've uh, kind of drawn in my lane, I guess you could say. You know, I've held out on it. I've not fed anything. You know, we only died that once because of the nice Zed gank from the bush under the turret, and you know, we've kept in level with CS with Garen, but I've not out farmed him, and I've not got kills over him either. Also, we picked up that kill over Zed a second ago, which was nice, but. You know, we've not done enough for me to be fed to deal with what Graves is. It's not like I'm a 5-0 and Nasus where I could probably come up with Graves and be like, yeah, whatever, I can deal with that. Now, I'm a 1-1 one -one Nasus with, you know, I am actually the highest CS in the game until I back. Um, but, you know, it's not going to be enough to deal with a Graves who's got 9 kills behind him. <laughs> That's pretty scary. Alright, we'll go for the Iceborne now. Uh, why not? So yeah, I prefer going for the Triforce to be honest at the moment, but I think with, the, with looking at their team comp, the fact it's so AD heavy, it's going to be better to go for this. Nice, very nice. It's going to be better to go for the Iceborne. And you know, I'll probably go for a Warden's Mail. Um, a Warden's Mail, I'll flip in Randium's next. So we'll see. We're looking at. Alright. Um, I'm lagging a little bit. Q. I think it's Garen. See, um, I'm getting fucked over by Garen now. I just want to farm, so I need more time to farm because I've just, I've got the Q stacks, I guess you could say. I've just not got the gold. It's like now, why? I just don't understand why they're fighting this. I don't understand. And now it just screws over me for farming because I can't do anything now. I don't understand why they they decided to fight that. It's just not what you want as a Nasus. What you want at all. And now we have what three members dead because Twitch flipping tried to fight Graves or whatever and just died in the process and now they can, you know, push on to mid for just no reason. You know, Graves pushes bot, you know, what can we do? It's just all well, because they decided to fight for flipping no reason whatsoever. So stupid. What happened there? Good bubble. Oh, here is Graves now. What I was worried about was Graves coming over. Might be able to kill. Nice. You get one kill. That was what I was worried when we were chasing Garen. I was just hoping we could have killed him quick enough. If it wasn't for Nami's bubble, I think we would actually have killed him quick enough. Let's see what we can do. Uh, can't do anything. I'm not going to dive them. If I could have got the wither off, then maybe, but it's cool. We picked up a kill. When we killed, well, I think Karma got the kill over Graves, but we killed killed Graves. It was silly for him to turn around, really, I guess. I guess he did kill Twitch, but it wasn't really worth it. Um, we can get the turret now, which should be good, I guess. We need to get out of here. He's dead, isn't he? Unless he's got his passive. Do much about that. 
Uh, so yeah, we, we got some gold, you know, we killed Nami. I think I got two kills out of that, because I was one to one, so... Yeah, that's what we kind of needed, really. Yeah, I'm strong, but still not strong enough. It's only because we, they were kind of low and we had to peel them off a little bit. We'll see. Um, we need to get a lot more armor really to deal with their team comp. You know, having double AD carry on his head and Karen is just going to be spinning to win. That's going to be crazy. So and He's got the Iceborne though. That's certainly helped out in that whole situation. The thing what's nice with the Iceborne compared to the Triforce is that the slow affects everyone. Uh, what well, if I slow them, with the, or I use my Q, the slow stays on that champion, whilst if I use the Triforce I get a speed buff, and obviously that doesn't benefit my teammates, whilst this, you know, slows down them so the team can catch that champion, sort of thing. So that's cool. Uh, I just need to farm, I don't want to actually Q them there, I just want to farm. I probably could kill them, but I just want to really farm, I'm just worried about what's going on over the ball. We're looking good. We'll freeze it here and get as many minions as possible. I could kill Garen easily, I think. But at the same time, I'd say I w want the farm more than I want to kill him. Because um, killing Garen won't make a difference, really. I just need the CS, is what I need. I'm trying to get those Q stacks. Um, so it's just. I don't know. We I think we can certainly got every chance of winning this game, but I think a lot's going to rely on how fed I can get and how well, how how much I can scale up my Q and how much armor I can kind of get and be able to deal with the situation. Um, and obviously I have split push and potential because of my TP, but I, I don't know. The team's not really strong enough, I guess, to split push without me. We'll see. I don't know. Certainly. Uh, Anything could happen. It just depends what the team do. As long as they don't get caught when I'm not, I'm not there, I think the calm is there. That said, all she gets away. Just crazy, it's just so fair. I'm a bit worried that they could all just uh, decide to come up top right now. Fuck it. I want the turret. I need to get the gold. If I die for a while, whatever. We get the turrets, GG, that's what we needed. Get some gold on the board for the team. Um, let's see. So we're looking alright. I need to get my. I'm sorry, use this, this game. Alright. I need to get my uh, randiums. I think I can actually afford it, maybe. Yeah, nice. And I need to still get so much more armor. So much more. Like, Graze is just so fed. He has an infinite edge now, you know. If he wasn't scary before, then uh, he's gonna be. Uh, Pretty damn scary now. Let's see. The skin's pretty cool. And then Garen, you just have him pushing and shit. It's just like... Oh, I don't know. How is Ziggs looking? He's actually 4 9 GG. Wow, good job to Ziggs. There's hope with Ziggs then. That's good. That's good. Ezra, it's not too fair, to be honest. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. Let's see, it's just grey, it's gonna be an issue. Why am I lagging? Ha, huh, that was really annoying. That was really annoying, I like, lagged out and I didn't even get in the end. What a waste. We I hate this said so much. I knew he was gonna do it, but at the same time if he didn't if I didn't do what I was doing then you know it's just like ah. Oh. And then this happens over here, you know, with the board and then there's just so much going on at different angles, I think what can you do? I'm just getting split all over the board. And you come over here and then Ezra and Graves are just so fed they're pushing mid and it's just like uh Bubble. Damage to Graves though. Damage. Damage. That's what we want. Wither the motherfucker. Oh, motherfucking Wither. If, it, if I'd hit that Wither then, I don't know why it didn't. That was really annoying. If I'd hit the Wither, she'd have died, but oh well. I think my flash was worth nothing. I'm lagging. I keep getting these random lag or Just a little bit of lag. It's really a bit annoying. But yeah, the damage we did to Graze them was pretty nice, and that's without my Triforce. And that's the thing with the I Iceborne, you don't do as much damage, but you get that slow. But obviously you get the additional movement speed with the uh, 
Triforce, which is nice. I don't know. But I just the armor I need. Um, so we'll see, you know. They they dove pretty hard. That was their main issue there. But if they think they're so bad and they do that, that's how you can throw a game. Plus, I've just got three grand in the bank, so I'm going to get a lot more tankier. But I just need to get that for. need to try and get up to 500 Q stacks. That'd be nice. Um, it'd be really nice. So we'll see. At least six is. Oh, he did actually die in the end. Um, but he's six, got six kills though, so he's looking strong. He's looking strong. We'll see. I'm feeling pretty strong as well, but I don't know if I'm. Don't know. We did sort out Graves then, but in a proper team fight, it could be a lot different. It was only because they kind of dove under the turret for no. Well, it was pretty stupid what they were doing. It cost them their life in the end. I'm gonna try and get this turret just to get gold for the team, really, more than anything. Uh, yeah, we'll see. It's looking alright. Just worried what they're up to, though, because they haven't got Ziggs. They're, like, they're just not paying any attention to Garen. It's just like kind of makes what I'm doing worthless if Garen's just able to do the same thing. We don't have enough mana really to fight. I don't know where everyone else is. We're just happily back. I've got so much gold to spend, I really need to buy it, otherwise my, all this is just wasted. So that's cool, that's cool. I'm up to 500 Q stacks now. We can get a shitload of armor on me now as well, which would be good. And I afford my son, I'm just gonna buy that as well, fuck it. I should go armor heavy, it's just going mad. Um, get some pots as well, just for any delayed team fights, whatever. Switch that bad boy over. So I have what, three I no two item spaces, one a fawn mail and a frozen heart. I guess ninja tabby boots. The tenacity is not really needed. It's only Nami, but that's not really an issue. Um. So yeah, it's cool. We're looking. I'm certainly strong, but it depends. You know, I can be as strong as this, but we need the team to be able to do something. You know, the team need. Did you get away? What? Ah, surely not. Uh, good job to six. Um, but you know, I can be as fed as this, but you still need the team to be able to do something otherwise. Yeah. See. We can get graves and it's GG. Once the slow hits him, he's just fucked. Unstoppable. So yeah, I, once I get on top of Graves, I'll destroy him. I will absolutely destroy him. But it's just, you know, what can the, you know, you need the team to do something at the same time. I should have queued him then, really. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't. I was a bit silly. Ah. Why he turned around. Oh well. GG. There is the godlike, as I said. It would happen. There it is. The power of Nasus. We just they again they shouldn't have really been there, you know, it was poor position by them and paid the price for it. And Aatrox are just pushing too hard and it just you know, just throws away everything we just did. There was no reason for him to be there and dies for no reason. Just never kill to feed up Zed. And instead it keeps getting more or you know, Blade and Ring from plus the Ghost Blade there, once he jumps on top of IED carry or whoever he decides to jump on bar me, um, it's not gonna go well. The only good thing really is the fact that they're all A D bar Nami, but we don't have to worry about Nami. Um, because they're all A D, it makes my life so much easier because I can just build straight up armor and it's gonna be a hell for them to break through there. So I'm just happy to farm, I'm not fussed about killing him because he's only gonna W away, so there's no point in me wasting my time when I could just be using that time to farm and farm and farm. I'd like to be farming more, but as I say, because the team's so, their team's so fair, it makes my life a lot harder to do that. But we're looking good. We've got another um, it's 2k in the bank, so that's good. I'm try and save the team. Don't really get much out of that. It's more to stop them going hammer my flipping team. Should be cool. I probably can just fuck up the whole team on my own, to be honest. As long as I don't get CC'd up like I am at the moment. 
Oh, go away. Motherfuckers. Maybe not. I got kind of baited in a little bit. We were so close to killing so many people, but they were all so low. Graves dashed over the wall, which kind of fucked everything up, which meant he was still alive. I needed to kill him at that point. Every killed him and made everything a lot different. And then Zed was so close to dying. I think we did get actually get Zed, but probably was a bit crazy for me to do what I did. I think I was a bit I thought I was a bit stronger than I actually was. But to be honest, had I killed Graves, I think it could have been a lot different. But there you go. Um, all right, let's pick up some ninja tabbies, I guess. Um, should help get rid of these pots. Uh, I guess if the form mail has to be the next pickup, um, because of just a double AD carry at the moment. At least it would reflect a lot of damage. It was Ezreal who just stood there, just freely attacking me the whole time, which meant I took so much damage out of that. But it was, I don't know. Uh, um, we'll see. The, lo the thing is, the longer the game goes on, the stronger I'm going to get, and the more armor I'm going to get, and eventually I'm just going to be, I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll see. I've certainly got a lot of damage. Um, just depends what the team can do, is if the team can live long enough, you know. We still need Twitch to survive, you know. I'm not gonna be able to do it on my own on my own and that was proved then, you know. I thought I was kinda strong enough to take on a couple of them, but obviously I wasn't once you got three or four people just you know, going crazy at you, that's pretty hard. Um we'll see. Once I get my fawn mail it's certainly gonna help out life. Aatrox is done. <laughs> I'm cute. So flipping fast. Why are you taking my farm? Idiot. Not what I want. I need to get as many Q stacks as possible. If I don't get any Q, I need the more Q stacks. I'm not strong enough to uh, mess them up yet, and that was kind of proven then. So, I need some alone time to kind of farm, but it, my TP is down, so. Hopefully, the team don't do anything stupid. I don't know why I should be surprised about Twitch. The amount of times he's been died this game. Now, I want to push, but I can't. Because, well, they're just going to wreck my base. So. It's, yeah, GG. I think that's game over now, unfortunately. I'm going to turn this into my Warden's Mail. I was going to go just to get more armor. But yeah, that you know, go top for a second and then the whole team just die. It's just... Yeah, GG. GG. I don't think I could take on four of them on my own. As much as I like to think I am that OP, I don't think I'm OP enough because of just how fed they are. Especially when I get CC'd up by Nami. It's just that damage grazes the enemy, it's just jokes. Shit. Damage joke for me was OP. Just a CC. C motherfucking C. Need another wither. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It was alright, I guess. I just don't have enough Q stacks to kill flipping Graves quick enough. That's my biggest issue. Graves just always seems to get away. Mainly because Nami's just there, you know, heating them up and flipping. I think she's got a crucible as well, hasn't she? I oh, know. No, she didn't. Um, but, you know, she heals him and she throws all her CC down. And when the CC go down on me, it just squiggles me out. That's the thing. Once Nasus gets like you can get kited around so easily with Nasus, and that's the kind of issue I'm having a little bit at the moment. I don't know. Let's see. Need to get more. At least when you finally get a dragon, that's going to help the team out. On anything. Did we get stolen? Uh, Ezra's going AD, right? Uh, is it Ultimate? Just seems to do so much damage. Um, alright, what is Aatrox actually building then? So he, the thing is, Aatrox is just going full damage and that is not what we need. He needs to go tanky. We don't need him as a damage source. We need Twitch and Six as our damage source. They're so fed that as soon as he dives in there, he's dead. Literally. It, with the build he's got at the moment. I don't necessarily disagree with the build, but the build isn't suitable to um, this game whatsoever. They're just too fed for him to have a build like that, in my opinion. Um, uh, so yeah, obviously my Q stack has slowed down so much because I've just been with the team, um, you know, trying to help them out and make sure they don't die, you know. I could split push, but then I'm just so worried about what the t is going to happen to them. You know, flipping... Just everywhere. Need to pick up my Frozen Heart. I think once I get my Frozen Heart, actually I can afford I'm just going to split push. Fuck it. we got enough now to lose, I don't think. 
It's just getting ridiculous now. And they're just picking everyone off. Well, Zed's so bad he can pick anyone off he wants, really. Um, Gray's just sticks with Nami as well now, and they just kite me around like flipping nobody's business. A fair play, he's giving a bit of a run for his money. He's gonna get fucked up by Gray, he's got baited into that a bit. Can he get the wither? Yeah, he's. Ah, oh, has he got a cleanse or has he take? What's he taken? Lol. What the fuck was that all about? That was really dumb. That was really dumb. At least Twitch got a kill as well, which is good. I'm just gonna push now. Fuck it. I don't know why he turned around. So what's he? T oh, he's got a quick silver slash. He needs that. That's so important for him to have. Uh, so yeah, we just need to push. Or well, I'm gonna push. Fuck the team. I need to get some something going and just try and get more Q stacks. Six 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 is the magical number. Hopefully Twitch doesn't die now. But yeah, I need to achieve something. I don't know why uh, he's deciding to try and fight me. I mean, that was a bit silly by him. And why he really just decided to do that. Need to get the turret. Just be a bit careful with anyone else coming out. That's my main issue. Here's the team. I don't know where uh, Graves is in that. Well, I kind of gave my life then. I'm kind of happy for that sacrifice, to be honest. I knew I was going to die. Um, but for me, it was worth to get that turret because it helps the team out in gold. And let's just hope my team doesn't do anything stupid. I see them getting an ace now and we could lose the game because for the next 40 seconds, I can't do anything. So, like, why does Ziggs come over there? There was no reason for Ziggs to be in their jungle. It's just silly shit like that, which just is going to really cost this game because we have hope of winning this. It just depends how stupid my team are. They probably could do Baron now, but we needed to achieve something, and um, for me to get the turret to help everyone else's guard out, I think it's cool. Don't know. Maybe it wasn't worthwhile. But at the end of the day, there's nothing else to be achieved, so. I'm now full item build as well, which is good. Um, with the full mail picked up, we should be really strong. I don't, there's nothing really I could change, to be honest. I could maybe go for a Triforce instead of the Iceborne, but I think the Iceborne's really kind of paying off. If I went for a Triforce though, in all fairness, I could actually sell my boots and go for... Go for um, something else, I don't know. Or I could even sell my boots and go for a Triforce and keep the Iceborne, because I'd still be fast enough with it. Um, I don't know. Something to think about. I could do. Because the thing with the Triforce, actually, I've always felt fast enough with the Triforce without the need for uh, boots. But I don't know what pass it would obviously cancel out one of the passes, though. I might actually do that, because all the additional stats I'd get as well would be huge. Um, I don't know. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to be able to win. As bad as I can get, I'm not going to be able to win this game on my own. Or whatsoever. It's just not going to happen, um, unfortunately. So I don't know, we'll see. I can see my fraps ending in a second. I don't think I've got enough hard drive space. I have to keep an idea on that. I'd be pretty annoyed for my fraps to uh, die now. So we'll see, I don't know. They're just so fed. They're just so fed compared to us. It's crazy. We've got nothing really going. Bar me. <laughs> With the only hope. And they're not really playing aggressive enough. You know, We need them to make a mistake. We can't be the ones aggressing. Cause we're not going to make anything happen. Uh, so I don't know, we'll see. We need to get the catch on Graves, and then you still have Ezra there who's fed, and Zed as well. It's like, who the fuck are they to get the Baron? I'm not surprised. The thing is, you know, Aatrox is just not tanky. Giant Spout is not going to do anything against this heavy AD team. You can fuck up Zed now. He's going to W away, isn't he? Uh, he failed him. Yeah, anything. It's just also fed as a unit. Don't do fucking anything. I need to recoil. It's stupid for me to do anything on this amount of HP. They're just also fed. They really are. It's like, who the fuck do you focus on? I just don't have enough damage to kill any of them. They just get slowed and kited around. It's just jokes. It's just jokes. 
I'm sure the CC they throw down, I just can't do anything around it. Plus they have Baron, so the healing they get from it, and it's just so horrible. I'm fed, but not enough to deal with the current situation and how it's looking at the moment. It's not looking good, let's put it that way. My fraps has ended. Oh shit. I'm going to have to run back to base and quickly change my hard drives over. Bear with me, guys. I apologize. I didn't think the game would actually go on for 40 minutes. This game's so long. Um, Alright, let's change the hard drive. Motherfucker, where is my hard drive? Um, we should be back up and running. I don't know how much more space I have on this hard drive. It's probably going to end up soon as well. The way this game's going, I see this being like an hour-long game. Because they're just... I don't know. They're, they're just not pushing enough. They shouldn't... You know, they can win, but... I don't know. Maybe they're just scared of me. And now Garen has a flipping GA. It's just like, what the fuck? We just need to get the flipping catch, but... Fucking shit. Oh my god, if he gets a fucking away... Can't do anything. So strong, but shut up, finishing with touch. Now here's Ezra. Oh, it's GG. Now Ezra's here. I have to go for him. Fuck it. Yeah. Hope I get some life steal. Can't really do much more than that. It's down to the team now. I did as much. I put a massive impact in that. It's down to the team to uh, try and do something now. Couldn't have done anything really more than that. I was so close to killing Graves, but again with the Crucible and. I couldn't really do much more about Ezra. If I tried to run away, I'd have just got fucked up. See, if we killed Graves, it'd been so much different. But now the team can't do anything. It's just no, no. GG to Twitch. That was good. That was good. Double kill. But we know we achieved nothing off of that. But the death times are so long. If I, the thing is, if I stay alive, I can go just go into their base and win the game. But I need to stay alive, and obviously, I really, I couldn't do anything more than that. I didn't use my active. I thought I pressed it, but it never went off. I don't think. You know, I couldn't really do anything more than what I did then. But I'm gonna buy a Triforce because for the movement speed. Well, what else would give me movement speed, which would make me really fast? I think the Triforce is probably best because it gives me a bit of everything instead of the boots. Um. Oh, they did a movement speed, where are you? Uh, no. How the fuck does that give oh, other movement items? That's not really movement speed, is it? Um, excuse me, that. I think the Triforce would probably be better, but I don't know. I don't know. Like I say, I just don't feel comfortable split pushing because of what might happen with the team. Or I could just split push and make them come to me, but then I feel if I die and they all come to me and my team's not making any impact over the map, as soon as I die, then our team has no hope, in my opinion. Uh, I think I'm the... Everything's really relying on what I can do this game. I'm the one who's going to be able to catch Graves and kill him and just you know, take all the damage. Um, no one else has really got that thing. We don't, just don't have that CC on the team, really. And that, you know, Aatrox there, you know, there's no... City, really. You see, there's no point in pushing if the team aren't there to do anything about it. Yeah, unlucky Twitch. <laughs> I was going to give it to him and I changed my mind. I wanted the Q stack, to be honest. I was going to give it to him and I was like, nah. That's a nice six points into my Q stack. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. It probably would have actually been better to give it to Twitch. For the hope of winning this. Nice. Great, that's where I'm gonna get kited around like a motherfucker now. It's GG, yeah, that's game over now. That is game. This is the problem with Nasus, you just get kited around. We were on our own as well, it wasn't really sensible going for Garen, but this game is just gonna go on forever, and I, I don't see us winning at the end of the day, unfortunately. The team's just not strong enough. Their team, every member on their team's just so fed. 20 kills, 18 kills, 9 kills, 8 kills. No. Aatrox got one kill and 15 deaths. Finally building some tank items, which is too late now. He's got nothing, really nothing going for him in his build. I think he's got some damage, but it's not enough. This is probably game over now, unfortunately. Um, I don't know why Aatrox... Uh, it's GG. Aatrox has just given up, really. Yep. Just sums up this game really unfortunately. There's nothing more I can do to the team. That last engagement for me was a bit silly but it's just getting a bit stupid now that we're just not going to achieve anything. The team's just not strong enough. I don't, I don't want to surrender. I hate surrendering but 
There is hope, but we need to get that catch. We need to get that catch and then just do some massive push. But yes, yeah, so this is what we need now. Graze is dead for 60 seconds, but it's only one person. They still have half my team's dead and got Garen pushing as well. It's just, you no, know, now what do we do? We can't do anything. It's just swings and roundabouts, swings and roundabouts. It's so annoying. Um, so yeah, it does really suck. But you do. Garen just looks so tanky as well, you know. It's going to take forever to kill that guy. Literally. Um, so at least we can get some more Q stats. I haven't really been farming my Q up at all as much as I'd like to, but you know, as I say, I don't want to leave the team because I just don't trust them on their own. You can just see it going horribly wrong. Nice. That's what we want. Might as well just carry on pushing here. And get some impact on the game. As long as they don't get fucked up in mid now. Good job if they get away. I'm just gonna push, fuck it. I so said I was gonna do a while back and then I changed my mind. There's a team the team are winning as well, so it's really good. I'm just gonna keep pushing and pushing and pushing. And get a turret off it as well. It's good, just what we want. The damage I do to the turret, this is what I mean, I could wreck their base, but I also I can't wreck their base on my own. If we get Baron, this would be really good. Should be able to secure it. Zed's dead, so they have no jungler. GG. Um, that's what we needed. If that Ezra would have stolen it, I would have cried. <laughs> I would honestly have cried. Um, so, yeah, that is what we needed. A Baron buff now, so. Twitch is looking strong as well. He's finally actually got some items behind him, so you know, his assassination ability is pretty damn strong, so. Let's see. Why is he so. Uh, we need to get some objectives ready. But I don't think we can, because of how low Aatrox and Twitch are. It's just not going to happen. Um, let's see, let's see. I don't know. We're starting to pull something back. This is probably the strongest we've looked all game, but certainly uh, far from winning that. Still a long haul there. Get out. There's no need to fight now. I'm gonna back and buy my Triforce. Uh, get rid of boots. There's no reason to be here now. We just need to regroup. We've got Baron. As long as no one dies, it's GG. And we make a fight happen. Our last stand. See, so my Triforce. Uh, speed store going for my home guards at the moment. I wish I was that fast. <laughs> We should still be over 400, I think. Oh, 383. That's not too bad. It's a little bit slow, but the additional stats I get from it is a lot better than just having ninja tabbies, really. I don't know what passive it's going to use now, because obviously it's a unique passive, so I'm not really sure how that's going to work. So it's still using the Q slow, uh, Q slow so... No. We'll see. We should need to get that right hit, really. I do feel a bit slow actually like this. I have lost about 20 movement speed. But I actually, I get the uh, movement speed buff from um, the thing. I just feel so slow actually. I do feel, do feel slow. That's just the problem. That Zed can just do that. That's the issue. Zed can just do that. And then Twitch is now gone and we have no damage now. Or well, lose our main damage source. Just like that. It's just crazy. Just crazy. And then they're all fighting in the flipping mid air this game over now. I don't know why they're all fighting. They just there was no reason to fight, we had flipping them pushing top. That was just uh, silly. Oh, the game's still not over, but it was just silly. There was no need for them to fight. They shouldn't be fighting without me whatsoever. It's just not gonna end well if they do. I'm half tempted just to TP top and see what we can do. Um, I'm half tempted to. See you later, fuck it. Yeah, though. What else we gotta lose? If I can lose the game one way or another, fuck it. See what we can do. They either push or they have to come back. I should have done this a long time ago, really. 
if you get an inhib now, just like that. Next Pecky, number one. I'm just gonna keep pushing, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it, we'll just see if we, we can get both turrets and it's GG, but... I, um, all depends now. It was probably worth my life. I thought I was going to get that additional turret, but the problem is, I was, I, as soon as I went there, I was taking turret aggro. I only took 803, crazy, but that was totally worth it, I think. I should have probably done that a long time ago. God, I've had my TP up for so long. Uh, that was just a perfect opportunity because they were all in mid and they either had to push or they come back and my team stopped them from backing and obviously Zed, Ezreal got back but Zed spawned because if it wasn't for Ezreal backing I would have certainly have taken that. I don't, I wouldn't won the game but you know that's just made a massive channel through their base and so in, oh, in four minutes time when my TP's back up I can do the same thing again. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, wait and see. But that was certainly good. That was what we needed. Gives the team more gold, you know, two turrets worth of gold, plus we got super minions spawning, and that causes them an issue. So when now they're pushing this bottom side, these going to be pushing and making them have to worry about something. And with the super minions up on the go, I've got an option to make another TP happen, and if I can sneak in with my TP again like that, then that could be GG. I think that's the only way we're probably going to win the game by looking at things. I don't think we're just, their, their team's just stronger at team fighting than what we are. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. But that was good. This is where Aatrox is just, you know, hopefully he doesn't get caught out here now. There's no reason for him to be there. So we just need TP back up. I should have done this a long time ago, thinking about it. I just mean with the team scared of them when, you know, that was just a huge play then. It could have, uh, win us the game. So yeah, I'm just so annoyed because I think if I was doing it, if, well, I feel I probably maybe should have split push more, but because of how fed they were, I've just been worried about doing that, you know. Um, so I have been worried about. But my Q's is stacking up quite nicely, you know, it certainly could be, uh, maybe a lot higher, but it's cool. Let's see. See, now, now the super minions are going to start doing work, so if they keep pushing, the super minions are just going to take that turret down, because that turret was low, I did get it low. It's going to heal up a bit, but it certainly did drop low. And look at them go, they, they now, now what do they do? They either keep fighting us here and do nothing, or they, uh... Sedge the GA though, that's a worry. Like cancel that recoil if we can. Just keep, keep the super minions, make sure the super minions can do some damage. Yeah, got the turret from it, see? GG. I'm out of my back door with my uh, EP now, it's just going to be so much stronger. They have no turrets. Whatsoever, so yeah, GG, this could be what we want. They've got super minions spread into their base, so they're split now, and this is where we want. Even though Karma seems to be currently standing still AFK. Oh, this could be bad though. This could be GG. I'm out of here, fuck it. It's not good, this is not good. We need to survive, we can't die. Finally, Karma wakes up, we just have to run now. That was their CC already paying off, but again, we, we got the mid lane turret so it's good as long as we don't lose much more now it's happy days we just got cc'd up so hard you flipping twitch is going for this crazy motherfucker i should have just re carried on i'm out of here should have just carried on flipping recalling uh, walking away even i should have never turned around this could be gg now I don't know, twitch karma's still alive maybe garen's not with us i've got no home guards though that's the only issue i'm not going to regen too quick i use some elixirs as well um, so yeah, we'll see. TP's almost back up. The inhib's back up, that's the only issue, you know. It delays my time at that. I don't know why she was even fighting him. There's no reason, she got away. I don't know, it's just like, there, why? Now for another 70 seconds, we are now 4v5. It's just GG. I baited me into that a bit, didn't you, Twitch? You were going or he wasn't going, no, it's GG. He baited me in so hard. He was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. And then he didn't do it. It's like, what the fuck? Oh, he was either doing it or he wasn't doing it. Now, yeah, this is game over now, unfortunately. That was really annoying. It was either you got the balls to do it or you haven't got the balls to do it. 
why go over there if you haven't? Now nah, it's GG because everyone's just flipping dead. Fucking shit. Uh, that's game over, unfortunately. Oh, I can't say anything more than that, really. I, I do did everything we really could do for the team, but there's just some of this, you know, egg trucks just didn't go anywhere near tanky enough. Flipping. The decision making of the team really cost us sometimes. And just as the game ended, perhaps uh, finished as well. So it's probably a good thing it didn't go on any longer. But yeah, a real shame because you know we smashed in those turrets, and the, even the la last turret we didn't get foul to the super minions. It was probably what I should have tried doing earlier, but I was just so worried because of how fed their team was that my team wouldn't be able to handle. And you know that was proven time and time again. So yeah, sad. Maybe if I had my infernal skin, it would have been more epic than we'd have won. But we didn't, and yeah, it's a. Sad game. I uh, couldn't have done anything more really for the team. Uh, I probably needed to farm some more and get my queue up, but as I say, I was just so worried about leaving them alone. Um, so there you go. You win some, you lose some. Uh, it's a shame. But nevertheless, hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy. Have a great day. Peace.